conditions, the wind, um, and the current was coming out of the northwest, and it was cutting along the lake shore and between Little Presque Isle Point and Pres- Little Presque Isle Island. With the uh, sea conditions out there, they were anywhere between three to six foot seas. The waves were causing a large current to run along the lake shore that was ripping through the point in the island, and that's what caused them to come off of a showing. Were they on sand or rocks when they were, was it true they were waiting? Uh, they were crossing between Little Presque Isle Point and the island, Little Presque Isle. And then they got swept off their feet by current? Current in the sea state. The waves were? They were between three to six foot. For people who think it's n- nothing, just come and have fun in Lake Superior, what should they think about? The message I would say to the public, if you're going to be in Lake Superior, especially this time of the year, the water temp is right around 50 degrees. Hypothermia still sets in whether or not the outside temperature is 40 degrees or if we're reaching up towards 80. Hypothermia is still a big factor. That cold water, when you hit it and you submerge in it, you get a gas reflex. Your body is instinctive. And you're going to want, your body's gonna to want to take in a big gas of air. And you're gonna do that regardless if your head's above water or below water. And the only thing that's gonna help with that is wearing a life jacket if you're on the beach or having some form of flotation device with you. My message would be if people plan to cross over to Little Presque Isle Island is to go with a life jacket. If you're going to be swimming and you're going to be offshore, take a life jacket with you. That's going to help us as rescuers. If you go in the water or get pulled out by a current, it's going to keep you up on the surface and it'll make us able to find you. And speaking of that, um, do you have an estimate estimate or have you ever heard about you know how fast these currents are and second of all isn't it true that when you're in one of those currents that you should just not try to fight it and let yourself out the speed of the currents here they shift with the wind the wind and sea state depending on the weather conditions the currents will shift around the best thing to do if you get caught in a current is not swim against it you want to swim off to the side of it you want to try to swim out of it not try to fight it